happy holidays. Happy <laughs> Tossing happy it out holidays, to, to Frosty the Snowman over there. <laughs> Dude, that's such a classic. I've I not know. watched that movie yet this uh, holiday season, have you? You know, no, actually, honestly, I don't think I've watched Frosty the Snowman in like several seasons, honestly. It may be worth doing. I don't know. I, I think I did last year. I definitely did last year because I remember okay. being out with Snowden at her parents' house and we watched Frosty and the original Grinch show or movie and uh, a couple other just like holiday classics. Charlie Brown, of course, but I'm already like five listens into that album. I think I've even talked about it on the actual podcast. So it's it's been good. It's been a good holiday season so far. Good. We've done, we've lacked on the Christmas movies this season. I feel like we, when we get like cold and cozy in, we turn on the Sopranos. It's like our, our winter time show. So we've restarted the, the Sopranos, Sopranos again. Is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know why there was, so there's something about being cozy just with cozy up with a little of your regard and your gabagool and you just yeah. watch Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> I can't relate. At all to that, but I I can appreciate it at the very least. That's that's great, Ned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if y'all didn't know, what we're doing this week is just a little bit special. Uh, we are going to give ourselves a little bit of a break and a little bit of time for catch up and to rest and like we all need to do. So this is just our Christmas little bonus episode. We will not be talking about Adventure Time, but we'll be talking about the never ending adventure of life and holidays and. Friendship yeah. and joy and all those other mushy gushy things. Totally, all the things that are going on in our lives. I guess I don't know how deep we'll get into everything. This may just be five minutes, but we'll, we'll just keep going until it just feels like it's reached its end, right? So yeah. Uh, but man, so as long as y'all want to stick around and and hear us uh, shoot the <laughs> shit, that's that's what we're doing. We're doing. Like, it's like a normal podcast now, right? Yeah, it's just we're just doing what like everybody a else link, does a written link style podcast, you know. Yeah, we're just not famous celebrities and y'all aren't like completely super invested in our lives, but that's fine. It's probably healthy yeah. that way. Just just two um, brothers. Just two brothers from two. different mothers. <laughs> so now, what are you up to for your whole holiday season? For my whole holiday season? Well, you know, Allie's been doing the Nutcracker here in Nashville. She's been mm-hmm. running that. Uh, not the entire thing, but at least the costume department of the Nutcracker, and we went and saw that when you were in town. Yeah, and, and not to mention, been... like, don't don't downplay that because when we oh, finally no, got there to watch it, like, oh my, there was like seven hundred different costumes. It so is many costumes, absurd. So many people running around. She's also in charge of the people doing the uh, hair and makeup and stuff, and maybe too much information on her. I don't know how she feels about that, but hey, she's <laughs> she's cool. I'm proud of her. She's crushing it right now and um yeah so that's been going on it's kind of keeping us in nashville for a little bit but on christmas day we're going to go down and see her parents and then head down to see my parents i think so we're going to be in georgia for probably as long as we can make it i would love to make it to the new year's like new year's eve and try and do like new year's eve in atlanta or something Mm -hmm. like that but as of right now it looks like the end of the plans that i have stop like Thursday of that week after Christmas or during Christmas or whatever. So okay. we'll that's, that's maybe you pretty... and I can talk about it. We'll see. We'll see if we can come up with something. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'll be in Atlanta for New Year's Eve for like, I'll be, we'll be driving back to Atlanta. Same thing with us. We stick, we stick uh, around well, here. Yeah, we okay. do, we do Jackie's family on Christmas Eve, Christmas day. We'll drive down, do it with my dad on the 26th, Christmas Eve with my mom on the 27th, Christmas morning with my mom on the 28th, and then 29th, 30th, just like straight Jay chilling, probably finally getting some rest at that point, and then driving back up to Atlanta because we got the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl or the Dogs Play. The dogs. The dogs. Yeah, well, then so, maybe I won't see. I don't know. We'll see, man. I mean, I mean, if you want to swing be, through wherever we end up. Um, yeah, we'll figure if, it out. If I don't know if we're buying tickets for anything <laughs> on New Year's Eve or unlimited bar access on anything on New Year's know, Eve. Man. I don't know. Well, regardless, what are you what are you thinking for your New Year's Eve resolutions? I know we talked a little bit about maybe going into that. You're probably, are you more of a New Year's Eve resolution guy than I am? I feel like you might be. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure I probably align with uh, everybody's resolutions where they kind of fizzle out before 
February. But do you but always have them? Are you always consistent? No, no, like, no. I mean, I always, I always think about it, but I, I'm not the kind of person that like writes them okay. down every year. And then like Jan one, I'm just like, yeah, like this is the day one. Like I'm going to start to grind at this point. Yeah. But I always think about like, like the consistent one, I guess for me, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the, I mean, as it, as it probably is for everybody and it, it factors into what mine are this year, but I'm coming up on 30. We're both coming up on 30. Come yeah. October and November of this year. Yeah, and so, next year's our year, man. 2023, watch out. That's what I'm, I'm saying, think of dude. A, it's, a fun it's my, slogan for it. It's my golden year, too. I was born on the 29th. Um, so oh. this is my 29th golden year. So I, my resolution is to be <laughs> the healthiest person I can be coming up to. Like, like I want to turn 30 and be... Like it's not Jack, just out of your like, mind. No, not like just gym, but like mentally, <laughs> physically, spiritually across the board. Wow. Um, and so that factors into not just be like I don't I don't care if I'm like jacked, but I'd love to be like in the better shape that I've been in through my life. Just like good shape, hmm. be able to run, be able to bike, be able to do whatever. Um, but then yeah, also I get that uh, factor that into like also like putting my phone down at 9 p.m., not death scrolling till 2 a.m., which I have been doing for the last month. This has been bad. Uh, so healthy sleep habits, drink more water, drink less alcohol, kind of across the board, not do anything that's so like purge related where I'm like, I'm going to never drink again. I'm never, I'm never going to eat cheese again, whatever it is. It sounds like you're um, doing them all. You're doing all the New Year's resolutions. That's so I saying. guess it's, it's a resolution, <laughs> but like, those re- resolutions will go down the drain if you're like, I'm not going to eat red meat yeah. this year. And then February, I'm like, I need a steak. No, you know? it just, it's got to be a, a lifestyle change if that's what you want it to be, right? Like, I mean, yeah. that's kind of how I've kind of... My goal always is never to have my New Year's resolution be gym for me personally. It's always, I want to be going into Christmas time already being consistent enough at the gym that I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. That way, when January comes around and everybody's doing it, it doesn't feel like I'm just part of a thing and then I'm going to fade out of it because I've already consistent, consistently been going. Um, so I've been pretty good about that this year, but I definitely understand the like 29 years old feeling that this next year we turn 30 and wanting it to be maybe the, like, the best shape of my life that I've ever been in, right? Like, wouldn't that be the coolest thing to do? Just... Because we are, we have the potential in the next, say, six years to continue to grow, get stronger, and be like, like you're saying, I mean, like, at least physically at our peak, potentially in our, of our entire lives, right? Yeah. Or our, our potential peak, because we could still peak later in our 40s if we're not like dedicated or whatever. But it would be really cool to be like 32 years old and, be like i don't know like physically fit and, and yeah and maybe then, on top of all the other stuff as well that would be great too <laughs> i think that yeah that well that, that's exactly how i'm going into it if, of, of every time i'm like starting a workout habit or getting and be like i'm just going to get jacked and i'm going to do all this stuff and i was like, i think coming up on this age it's more just like i need to figure out a routine that's not 75 days of no booze and be on a diet and like suffer 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 and then have it end but I also need to not be on the flip side and being like, I haven't moved in two days and I've only played Call of Duty and I've only had 17 <laughs> beers tonight, you know, yeah. like, uh, yeah. so, so getting into a realm of like conscientious, healthy habits, I think is like kind of my yeah, that's great. goal and have it be. You're not scrolling till nine yeah. or like after nine, that would be amazing. If I could put my phone down after 9 p.m. That would be yeah, so I'm, hard. I'm, I'm thinking so about good. doing like a phone bucket thing and being like after 9 p.m. the phone just goes in the bucket. Like, and I can watch I like movies because I love watching late night movies. And if I'm if I'm antsy and I want to stay up late, I just don't sit on the phone and like death scroll all night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I get that. That's cool. So that's, well, my, that's a goal. My New Year's resolution, if I'm going to have one, is probably just like making myself a little bit more disciplined just all around. So very similar to yours, but but kind of more at a macro level. I just want just all around to be more disciplined. There's a lot of little things in my life that I feel like I'm slacking on or I, I'm kind of letting myself be lazy about or giving myself an excuse to be lazy about. 
Uh, and I just want to get a little bit better at, like, I, I do have this like hyper productive, whatever it is, bug in the back of my mind that mm-hmm. keeps me going to some degree. But a lot of times if I'm not going, it causes me to feel bummed out or depressed or have anxiety or whatever it is. Right. So feeding that in a healthy way by being disciplined and potentially having that hope make 2023 a good mental year for me and also physical year and maybe productive year, you know, who knows, maybe next year we all get new jobs next year. We quit our jobs and just podcast. I I don't know. I'm just (laughs) making that up, but you know, it could be cool. (laughs) No, no, I know what you mean though. It's just like, um, there's a lot of discipline with mundane routine as well. And as soon as you get into it, like I'm, and I'm talking routine as much as like every day I make sure the sink has no dishes when I go to bed. Um, Oh, that's I never let the trash get stinky. Um, I'm, I'm only thinking chore stuff or, um, Hey, I like have two hours. Should I go do the yard work that needs to be done and just like touch it up? Or should I play call of duty? Um, and there's the discipline of, of choosing something that you know is going to be productive versus something that you choose. Like, and then, and then finding the balance between that is obviously like a beautiful thing too. You don't want to only be productive and just burn out either. So like finding that healthy balance with your discipline of going, Hey, today I need to, I need to do this and it needs to get done and I'm not going to give myself excuses to not get it done. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that's that's a great way to go about it. Well, I got news too along that side of things, and did is it puppy news? Uh, well, that's a bit. That's the second biggest thing that's going on this year. Okay. My New Year's resolution is to not kill my new puppy that I'm getting. Yeah. Um, okay, that's good. Is is <laughs> second it one. bigger than a puppy? So it better not be. Is it a baby, Ned? It is a Peloton. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that's oh, Jackie's uh, right. big. Well, right. It's not Jackie's gift. It's a gift I got for the both of us. Um, yes. Does she know? No, she has no idea. So I, it's upstairs in the bedroom with a big piece of paper over the door that says, "Don't come in here until we do our Christmas <laughs> okay. celebration." I was wondering together. how you were handling that. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um. So so all that being said, I did hop on the first Peloton ride today and did the little beginner's ride. Oh, so you're just using the gift despite not letting her even see it. <laughs> well, at least at least she has one day where she can't see it. And cuz we're doing our okay. little like couples Christmas on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Um, and also your legs aren't going to just get jacked or like super hot by Christmas day. So she's exactly, not going to be like, hey, "What's going she, on? She, she <laughs> like, where, did, your, where did this come your, from? Why does your ass look phenomenal right it now?" It looks so good. <laughs> your glutes, I've never seen your glutes like this. Man, I can say <laughs> since you're super into cycling, I can say I did a little 20 minute, nothing crazy on there. Okay. Uh, and yeah. I, I did some good biking um, stuff when I was at like F45 fitness back in the day. Yeah. Uh, and I got that feeling as soon as I walked down the stairs, my legs were like just Wobbles. quivering on each step. Yeah. And I was like, oh. noodle legs. <laughs> that's a good feeling, man. Especially when you feel the next day. I, the greatest thing about being a cyclist, like when I was a kid and kind of not doing it so much as an adult, but I still got the calves. Everything yeah. else went, but for some reason, my calves are still pretty solid. So yeah, I'm I got, hoping um, my muscle memory will, I'm, I want to get back into it this year as well. My, Dad, for his 60th birthday, did six centuries, so six 100-mile rides or races. And I felt bad for not joining him on one. And so I'm hoping... I don't know if I'm... He's going to do a couple more this year. I think he's doing three to for whatever reason. He's just in better shape than I will ever be. But uh, it'd be cool to like surprise him and join him on one of the races this year. So yeah. hopefully I'll get to bike in enough to get back in shape for something like that. Yeah, well, and where y'all just moved to is like such a better biking environment than yeah. where y'all used to live, and it's not just hills, so it's probably yeah. a little bit more oh enjoyable. Yeah, I, I got to bike out to the hills, but we'll see, man. I got I got a little crew that maybe wants to bike, and I mean they're biking more than I do, but I I do want to get in shape and just like drop them as well out of nowhere. So my dad, I don't have a Peloton, but I have a Zwift, which is like. um it's it's like a four cyclist stationary yeah. bike. Type yeah, thing. you showed me. Yeah, it, it basically is like instead of a Peloton, you put your actual bike, your yes. on on a thing, and it's a video screen and like whole nine yards, which is like 
And there is intense. like a Peloton S bike for that, right? But uh, the program Swift is it's very like from what I hear, it, I haven't used it yet, but it's like it takes into consideration if you're drafting someone, if you're going uphill or downhill, like the bike will lower, like raise and lower and all this stuff. Like it's supposed to be like a video game, That's but awesome. cycling. And my my buddy who's been racing and like won a pro and two race, he he rides his like two hours a day, you know, just like in the middle of the work day. And I'm, I'm not trying to do any of that crap, but you know, I don't know. Who cares? Well, I'll get back to it. No, yeah, well, that's good though. That's good. We'll be, we'll both have just like maybe, maybe that just means our resolutions by the end of this year is just like Ned and Russell have just toned, firm buttocks. Oh yeah, and, and that'll shaved be shaved legs. <laughs> shaved legs. Just <laughs> some getting the Peloton wind speed super fast. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> You're not, not. Neither one of us are like riding outside. We're just riding indoors. But we're like, dude, gotta shave our legs. Like, gotta be pro cyclists. You know. Hey, you were the one that mentioned discipline, and that's uh, isn't that going to be the highest form of discipline? The highest form of discipline is shaving is your wake legs. up and shave your legs for your indoor cycling. <laughs> Gosh, I tell you what, though. I mean, kudos to everybody, all our listeners who do shave their legs. I don't, I don't know how you do it. I when I used to cycle, I shaved my legs for maybe three years, and it is brutal. It is like, I don't even like shaving my face, like shaving your legs just takes so long. Yeah. Oh, it is. I've done, I do a, I do a, a quarterly manscape where I have tremors and I will manscaped. manscape my whole body. Yeah. It takes like 45 minutes and I'm like, I don't understand how people do this on like a weekly too basis. Timmy, Timmy, <laughs> Oh, well, let's, let's wrap great, it up. Dude. Let's, let's, uh, let's not get too tangent in the woods. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah. We just wanted to talk about the new year. We wanted to give ourselves a little Christmas break. We just started season four. So we really, di- we didn't want to wait until the new year to, to start season four and have everybody wait like a month. Um, uh, but this definitely helps us with, uh, Mike, uh, DJ cowboy hat, who's our audio engineer. It gives him a little bit of time to sit down and rest and not be super stressed. I told him that this one too, just like run it through the filters and we'll be good to go. But we didn't want yeah. to leave you guys hanging because you guys, you know, you guys love to hear stuff every Tuesday, Wednesday if we're running late. So Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I'm, I'm glad we got to do this. I mean, this is fun. If people like something like this, we can do it more. And we promise the future ones will be less about fitness and exercising. But you know, clearly it's on both of our minds as we're, I think, man, we're just at that age, dude. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it's just bugging me now that I'm just like not in shape and I'm like about to be 30. So it's, that's all it's, it is. It's tough. It's seasonality. Like, yeah. you know, it's, it's different seasons and it's kind of just like with work stuff and all, and all that good stuff. You, you put a lot of other focus and energy into other things that are bigger than if yeah. I have an eight pack washboard abs, you know, <laughs> which I never have had either. So, no, nah, man, you could have an eight pack and still not be a great person. So, hey, I always tell everybody to I got a six both. pack. It's just in the fridge. I'm keeping it cool. Until oh, later, my gosh. You, know? you sound like my stepbrother. <laughs> <laughs> he says crap like that all the time. Um, all right. Well, let's wrap it up. Travelers, thank you so much for joining us for this little rant and conversation. I hope you all have just the greatest of holidays and get to spend it with loved ones and friends and family and whoever that may be. And yeah, well, looking forward to hopping into season four or deeper in the season four next year, 2023. I'll try and come up with some sort of a theme or a slogan, 2023, uh, don't hold your pee, something like that. I'll, I'll the, all come up with a better me. one. All eyes on me. Ooh, a little narcissistic, but I like a it. narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy holidays to you guys. Yes, party forever. Mm-hmm.